hello welcome back to the channel my name is Tara and today I'm going to be doing some embroidery on a vest for a customer and I was going to take you guys along with me uh, let's come over here so you can see so here's the here's the vest A lot of work going on today at NTC, but here's the vest that I'm going to be using um, to embroider a left chest logo on for a friend of mine. So I have got the um, logo set up over here on my embroidery machine right over here there. And I'm going to take y'all over there with me so you can see what exactly I'm going to be doing. So just give me one sec. So right now I am running a test. Let me put on my microphone so you guys can hear me. One sec. Okay, so as we can see, the microphone, when I plugged it into the camera, it did not work. So I'm going to have to do a voiceover for the rest of this video. And I'm so sorry about that. But right now, I'm just kind of explaining that I'm going to do a test. I did a test stitch out. I, I am going to do a test stitch out because um, I had purchased this um, stitch from a person on Etsy, had sent them my this person's PDF and they digitized it for me. Um, I think it was like 12 or $13 that I paid them for it. And the time was really fast. And I did a couple of beanies and shirts for this same person a couple of years ago, but I haven't did a stitch out on it since. So I wanted to test it out to make sure it was still gonna stitch good on this scrap fabric before I started stitching it actually on the vest um so I think that's pretty much what I was saying and the stitch out is exactly nine minutes that it takes to do this stitch out so not long at all I also wanted to say that it's just a one color stitch out so we're just going to be using the lime green thread for the whole thing um and that's some more work that I have that is actually a couple's 50th anniversary shirts they're going on a cruise in January and they just want their names and date on their shoulder um, in that bag I got a pair of pants that I got a hem for a lady at work probably get those done over the weekend it wasn't okay, any rush stitch out so done. now I'm back to say this that this was the turned, stitch out and this is how out. it so turned have, out um, which still looks pretty good and that's going to be the size of it so we're going to put it on this vest on the left chest and I, and I think on the first really part I was gonna try to use to that big mighty hoop and I'm gonna switch and use the, the smaller one so usually for that I go down about nine inches on the from the neck part on a man's shirt and I do about seven for a female so I'm just kind of marking where I want that logo to be and I'm gonna get a a stick pin um, and stick it in place so it can stay there while I am doing the hooping and I, hope it's and I think I'm still fumbling around with this bit let's see really no but I think it is let's hope so all right so I'm gonna take I got some pins and I'm gonna pin this on here one pin should be good I'm gonna use my seven by nine mighty hoop because my this one, this five and a half one, is too small. I'll go in, kind of like float it a little bit, sort of maybe.
trying to get this tight. Okay. And this uh, vest is kind of like a um, yarn fabric, like a beanie hat. So I'm going to put some of this um, stabilizer on top of this so the threads won't get buried in there. Otherwise, they will be. Okay, so I'm going to take this over to the machine. Okay, we're back over here at the machine. Okay. Um, and I do have some tearaway stabilizer. I got two, two things of that up under here. So it can, because you got to have it. Okay, and um, let's do a trace and see where we're at. Okay, so I'm gonna do a trace. Okay, so let's let get you all up a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. Let's do a trace. Okay, so I can see that that is not right. So I'm gonna re set this. So let's pull it back some. Okay, we'll come over this way. So we're going to come over about right, right here and retrace this. Okay, I think that's going to work out good. Now, I'm going to go run up here and get this stabilizer to go on top of here um, and cut that out. Okay, so I got my poly mesh. And I'm going to take this, um, let's come back down here. Let me scoot this down some. Alright, so I'm going to take this off because I don't need this pin on here anymore. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put this here, all right? And it'll just stay here when the first thread that hits it should hold it down, okay? So I'm going to start. So let's start. Make sure we're going to be good. I'm going to get y'all up so y'all can see, all right? So I'm going to make a trace one more time to make sure it's good. I think that's gonna be good. So we're gonna start it. We're gonna thread. It's gonna be on number four. All right.
is on here. And so let's go over to the table and take it from the hoop. Okay, so let's come over here and move this stuff. All right, so we got it here. Let's take this hoop off. And so this is the, the backing. This is just tear away. So this just tears off real gently. Just tears off. And I use two sheets of it. And the rest of this will come off when the person washes it. So this is kind of like tears away too. And then you can put some water or heat on it to finish getting it off. So this is what we got. And so I can get some tweezers. Let me get a set of tweezers. Turn that air off. It's kind of loud. So you kind of just can go through here and pick this off. And you just want to be gentle so you won't pull none of the um, threading. So let me take the rest of this off and then we'll be back. Okay, so this job is complete. This is the vest and the candle shop is on there. And I will hit this with the lint roller and it will be ready for pickup. So on to the next job. Also, and if you are interested in videos like this, just regular videos with me sewing in my she shed, um, or making t-shirts crafting and all that consider subscribing to my channel and thank you for watching bye